All right, it's, it's not Tuesday night, it's Thursday night, but uh, we're going to do math because I wasn't here Tuesday. <laughs> um, so, so far we've covered fractions, so we've covered the adding, the subtracting, the multiplying, and the dividing of fractions, um, and how to do that as a skill, and then how to do that as a word problem. Um, now, tonight we are going to go to percents, and we, and we already did do some percents, but we did some more simpler types of percent problems. Now we're going to go a little bit more in depth. Um, again, uh, all these matters are covered here in the book. Um, this covers the 4% formula, some worksheets, uh, and some direction uh, on how to do these things. Um, so again, if you need some practice on this at home, it's a good idea for you to get the book. Um, also, uh, I have uh, a couple of the lectures that I've given on percents are also here on DVD, so if you're interested in that, uh, if you need to hear it a couple times more than what we're doing in class, you can do that. Um, so let's jump in. There are four kinds of percent problems. Who can tell me what they are? Four types of, there are four percent formulas. Rates. The part, the rate. Rate times base. So one is rate times base equals part. Okay. Part divided by rate equals base. Part divided by rate equals base. Part divided by base equals rate. Part divided by base equals rate. Uh, what is it? Number four. Uh, Something different yeah. than original and new? That's right. That's right. So the difference of, of the original, original number and new number yeah. divided by the what? Original. By the original, the original number and equals increase or decrease. The percent increase or decrease. Okay? You were kind of going down this road here, Mabel, at first. So what are the three parts of a percent problem? The three parts of a percent problem? Mm -hmm. uh, rate, base, and... Rate, base, and what? And part. And part. And what makes a percent problem a problem? <laughs> not, not knowing how to answer it. <laughs> how to solve it. Besides that, uh -huh. what makes a percent problem a problem? you have to decrease it or, or increase it? I don't know. Because it's a percent? <laughs> <laughs> a decimal? Um, fraction? Something well, think like about it. If you had a problem and you knew the rate and you knew the base and you knew the part, would there be any problem? No. no. So what makes a percent problem a problem? Me. The whole? <laughs> the whole? No. That would be the base. So what makes a percent problem a problem is simply that you're missing one of these parts. That you're missing one. Okay. You either know the rate and the part and you're looking for the base, True or you question. know the rate and base and you're looking for the part, or you have the part and the base and you're looking for the rate. So what makes a percent problem a problem is that you're missing one of these elements. Mm 